Good evening. I'm Marshal Chamchao Chengel, and this is Assyrian News Live at 6 p.m. Leading tonight's top stories, an elderly Assyrian woman was arrested for trespassing on private property and indirect theft. She told police she was there to pick vine leaves to make dolma. The police did not believe her story, but later released the elderly woman as she fell down the stairs and injured her big toe. We do hope that she's doing fine. Moving on. The Assyrian music industry has had a dramatic increase in Assyrian singers. From the year 1986, there were only six Assyrian singers. That figure has exploded and increased substantially to 456,794. 95, 96, 97, 98, 90. As you can see, the number increases as we speak. A fight has broken out at a local Assyrian wedding between the bride's father and the groom's brother. The fight started over a very heated debate that quickly escalated. Rumor has it that they were arguing over who had shinier shoes. Moving on. The first non-Assyrian in the world has finally been able to figure out the difference between a Syrian and an Assyrian. He was able to logically deduce that Assyrians and Syrians are not the same people, even though there are very serious Assyrians speaking Assyrian living in Syria. The man later went on to win a Nobel Prize. Please stay with us as we take a commercial break. We will be back with the fashion news. Thank you for tuning back in with us. We are now joined live by Sargun with the fashion news. Thank you, Asher. I'm Sargon Shkulune, and leading the fashion news, the Ronaldo haircut seems to be the favorite amongst the Syrian men. Assyrian men all over the world are queuing up at their local barbers with expectations of looking like Cristiano Ronaldo, but instead are coming out looking more like a bunch of alpacas. In other news, the amount of Assyrian makeup artists has increased dramatically over the past five years. This is only because women all over the world are now seeking Assyrian women for makeup advice. The advice they're giving everyone is, if you can see her face, then you probably haven't got enough makeup on. This advice has allowed cosmetic companies to increase their profits by billions of dollars. That is the fashion news. I'm Sargon Skurule. Till next time, take it easy. Take care, and there's never enough makeup on your face. Back to you, Asher. Thank you for that, Sargon. And thank you for joining us tonight in the Syrian News Live at 6 p.m. I'm Ashur Chamchow Chengil. Have a good evening.